Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at transferring everything from your old phone to your new Android phone. So if you've got an Android phone that you want to transfer all the data over to your new phone, then this video is for you. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do, and I'll show you how to do it. So let's get this uh, phone out of the box here. You don't get a charger or anything with phones nowadays. It seems to be getting less and less for your money, and they're costing more and more. So you get a little cable, which is Type-C to Type-C, and we also have our SIM card tray removal tool and this little adapter and the phone itself. This is a type C to USB uh, free. So you don't get much else in your package nowadays, but this will do exactly what you need it to do. So from here, we're going to be transferring data from the Samsung phone over to the Pixel. So I've powered it up. The first thing I'm going to do is give it uh, the English language here for United Kingdom instead of United States because there is quite a bit of a difference between the two. And uh, what I'm going to do here is look for English. I'm hoping there is one here that says English United Kingdom. So I'm just going to search through here and see if I can find it because both of these countries use different terminology and t different words for different things. And you can find yourself getting very confused if you've got it set to American. So what we're going to do here is try to find English here. So I think there is one here. There should be, and there's one here, English, and there should be one here saying United Kingdom. There we go. So that's what we've got to do here first. And then what we can do next is click on Get Started. So let's go ahead and do this. What it's going to do is connect to the mobile network. Now we need to remove our SIM tray so we can get access to our SIM card. And once we got this out, we can discard the micro SD card slot because they seem to be removing that from phones nowadays as well. So there's no extra storage we can add to this. So what we're going to do is put that to one side. And what we're going to do is just get the SIM card out and put this into the SIM tray of the new phone. So I need to remove that from the new phone. And once this is done, it's pretty quick after this. So I'm just going to quickly put the old SIM tray back in here and we can now remove the new sim tray out of the new phone so just find it where it is on the phone yours might be in a different place and then just poke it until it pops out like so once that pops out you can pull the sim tray out there we go and it should just pop out and it's only a small little sim tray here for the uh, sim card there's no uh, dual sim on this or there's no uh, extra storage for uh, you know micro SD card slots make sure you got it ran the right way and then just uh, push this into the new phone and then power the phone on so let's go ahead and push this back in and once this in we can power it on and we should then be able to continue because what will happen is the phone will then recognize that you've got a sim tray in here and it will ask you to connect to the Wi-Fi network so you can connect to your Wi-Fi network and you can do this over the a wireless connection if you want to but I'd advise you to do it over a cable connection because it's a lot faster so just put in your password for your Wi-Fi connection and you should see it saved and then starting to connect once this is done it will get your phone ready and it will start going through a process of preparing your phone uh, for data transfer from your old phone to your new phone now once it's got a few things ready it's going to ask you to copy apps and data over to your new phone you don't have to copy anything over to your new phone. You can just copy what you want. You get a selection of stuff which you can copy and what you don't want to copy. You can do this via cable or via wireless connection, depending on what you want to do. We're going to be using the wired connection because this is the fastest data transfer way of doing things. A wireless can take a fair bit of time, but if you do want to do wireless, you just hit the two arrows up the top and then choose Wi-Fi connection and away you go. But what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the next button once we get this done. It'll ask you to uh, click copy on the left-hand side phone. This is your old phone. It's going to connect to your Pixel or your phone of your choice. And then you can see there's a blue uh, box saying copy. So just hit copy, and this will authorize it to copy over all of the accounts and all the information. You will need to put in your password for your account to log in all of your details and this will copy all of your accounts over now when it gets a few things ready to copy 
It will give you an option to what you want to copy over. You can see here contacts, photos and videos, music and other audio, SMS messages and MMS attachments. Now, I'm not going to be copying over the photos and videos because I've got them backed up on my NAS. And again, with your WhatsApp, if you're using WhatsApp or anything like that, you need to make sure all your messages are backed up because this won't transfer the messages over. It just copies over all of your contacts. So if you do want to do that, then make sure you're using something like the, the Google backup and then use their free 15 gigs storage. And then you can transfer that back over to your phone once it's done. If you want to get all of those message history and things like that backed up on your WhatsApp. You can get call history on here as well, which also backs up all your call history. It's not going to copy over your micro SD card slot over here as well, because that's obviously no storage for that. This has 128 gigabytes of storage and we're going to be using up 102. There's no good copying over all of your stuff and filling up your new phone with all the old stuff on your old phone. I'd advise you to back order up to a NAS drive and then you can basically use your phone with a load of free space and that's what I'd advise you to do. You can see it's only going to take up 4.5 gigabytes and again I can start to uh, copy over a selection of photos if I wanted to. Remember depending on how big your storage is on your phone uh, will determine how much data you really want to copy over. I don't see the point in copying over all of that data and filling the phone up uh, otherwise you're just defeating the object really. So it's going to copy over this stuff. It's going to ask you about Google services and uh, would you want to use your location and stuff like that. And again, there's some stuff in here like sending useful uh, diagnostic data back to Google if you want to. I'm going to turn that off. And again, if you want to uh, use all of your WhatsApp and stuff like that, just make sure you've got that backed up into your Google uh, Drive or into the cloud somewhere so you can download that and put that back on your phone. A lot of people store all of their photos and videos in the cloud and that's how they restore all that sort of stuff anyway. So set up a pin. This is obviously the new security feature that you're going to have to set up if you want to use a pin. Um, I don't particularly uh, like using pins, but uh, you know you can skip this if you want to and set this up a little bit later on, which is what I'll probably do. It's then going to ask you to review the additional apps that it's going to copy over, and this is a bunch of Google stuff, obviously being a Google phone as well. It wants you to copy over all of their stuff, I'm just going to leave this ticked. I can always remove this and uninstall stuff that I don't need at a later date. Or you can just remove the ticks on the stuff that you're never going to use and it won't copy that stuff over. So simple as that. So yeah, so just check mark what you want here and click OK. And this will start the copying process of all your data from your old phone to your new phone. And again, just choose what you want to copy over. So depending on what you're uh, copying over here will determine how long it takes and how much data you're copying over. Obviously, if I was copying over 100 gigabytes of data, that's going to take some time. And again, there is limited storage on these new phones now. This is only 128 gigabytes. I say only, but that's because if you're recording in 4K and some of these phones are recording in 8K, it's going to take up a lot of storage very, very quickly. So... And Google sort of limits the amount of storage you have because they want you to use the cloud as well. So remember, if you want to back up your WhatsApp and you don't want to use the cloud, you can always plug your phone, your old phone, into your computer and copy over the WhatsApp folder, install WhatsApp onto your new phone, and then just copy that folder into the new WhatsApp installation. And that will have all your WhatsApp stuff in there if you use WhatsApp. Uh, but any of that sort of stuff you can do very quickly as well. And you should be up and running in no time at all. Uh, but you always use the backup method for those sort of things and it makes the transfer of data very painless as you can see here and then now you've got your new phone all done and ready to use and uh, you can then secure erase your old phone and do whatever you like with it if you want to see a video on secure erasing your data on your phone then let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to make that video for you Remember, a factory reset is not a secure race and people can get your data back on that phone. So be warned when you just use that factory reset method. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>